How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this three-in-one flip top planer and jointer cart. All right guys, now this is gonna be one for any of us that have small shops or struggle to find space for our tools in the shop. Now I was lucky enough recently to pick up a planer and a jointer that's really gonna expand the capability in my shop. But the struggle with every new tool is, where am I gonna put it? Now one solution that a lot of guys use to solve that problem is a flip top tool cart. It allows you to have one tool on one side, one tool on the other, and you flip it whenever you need that specific tool. This car is a similar idea, but instead of having a tool on both sides of the flip mechanism, I'm going to leave one side as just a flat work surface. And the reason for that is my plan is to just wheel this cart up underneath a workbench and out of the way when I'm not using it. And then whenever I need it, I just wheel it out from under the workbench, flip the top, and I have my planer and jointer ready to go. Then when you're done, everything packs up nicely and slides back under the workbench. Now, if the flip top function of this cart looks familiar to you, it's because I'm using the Fisher's design for that flip top function. The rest of the cart and the application of it is my own spin on that. And this is a design that I think is really gonna be beneficial to a lot of you guys that struggle with the same problems I do. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Now I am gonna walk you through step-by-step step how I built this cart. I'm also gonna provide digital plans in the description below if you want to build this for yourself, as well as links to all the tools you see us using in this video. And real quick guys, before we get into building this car, if you're interested in what planer and jointer I'm using, this is the 13 inch spiral cutter head planer from Wynn, and this is the eight inch spiral head jointer from Wynn. These are really nice cost effective options and I will link to those in the description below. Now that's enough talking about it, let's get to building. All right guys, we're gonna start out by cutting down our plywood and we're gonna be using our cut sheets from the plans link below. I'm cutting all these down with my Wynn track saw and no, I'm not sponsored by Wynn. They just happen to make some quality woodworking tools at a price I can afford. Now we need to cut the shape for the flip top portion of our cart. I'm just gonna measure and mark down our shape and then we're gonna cut it with a combination of the bandsaw and jigsaw. Now we're gonna drill a hole to accept the black iron pipe that's gonna be the center of our flipping mechanism. And we just repeat that same process for the other side of our cart. Now we're ready to assemble our pieces. A corner clamp works great for holding these in the correct orientation while we get everything assembled. And to fasten these together, I'm just gonna add a little wood glue and then I'm gonna countersink and run some screws in from the bottom of the cart. After determining the tool length, I'm just gonna use a piece of wood as a spacer to find the location of the middle section of our cart. Now we attach the planer side of the cart and before flipping it over, I'm gonna go ahead and put the casters on the bottom. You don't see it here, but I did add a little extra blocking where I attached the wheels. Now we're gonna attach the top section. The height of this is gonna be dependent on the workbench that you're gonna be rolling this car underneath. And I'm gonna attach this with some wood glue, nails, and screws. I had planned on just using pocket screws for this, but I wasn't satisfied with that, so I ended up driving screws in from the other side. Now we need to cut down some plywood on the table saw that's gonna act as some support 
for the flip side of our cart to help keep those side pieces exactly where we want them. And to attach these, I'm just using pocket screws. And you need to make sure the height you choose for these supports will still allow your tool to flip. Now we're gonna prepare the top surface of the cart and we're gonna start by taking these two by fours over to the table saw and cutting off the rounded edges. And then we'll drill the hole for our pipe. I'm also gonna cut some notches in a couple of these so we can route our wires through on the inside. And now we're ready to start assembling that with wood glue and screws. Then we're gonna test fit our pipe. We've cut this into two sections and we're gonna be joining it in the middle with a T connector and then we'll add a couple two by four supports. To make sure our pipe doesn't rotate inside of this platform, I'm gonna glue in a piece of plywood for blocking, and then I'm gonna secure it with a pipe strap. And before completing the assembly of our flip surface, we're gonna go ahead and get it put into the cart. and she's flipping nicely. Once I've got this fitted into place, I'm gonna cut off any excess pipe with an angle grinder. You'll want to make sure you smooth out these surfaces since you are gonna be passing an electrical wire through this. And now to destroy a perfectly good power strip. I'm gonna route that wire through the T and out the side of our pipe and then secure the power strip. We'll add a couple flanges on the outside to help support the pipe. And now we're ready to get our planer mounted to the top of the cart. I'm gonna mark and drill these holes. With a little help from my shop buddies, I'm gonna use a Forstner bit to drill a hole for the power cord. Now we can cut the other surface of our flip top. This was cut a little oversized, so we can go back and cut in some wings that are gonna interface with the side walls of our cart when it flips. We're gonna fit that into place and then add the back part of our flip cart with some glue and brad nails. We'll line up the top and then countersink and attach that with screws. We want to easily be able to access the power strip on the inside of this, so for the other side of our cart, instead of using screws, we're gonna attach this with magnets. Now we're gonna wire on a new plug for our power strip. 
you just want to make sure you follow the instructions. The black wire goes to the brass screw, the white wire goes to the silver screw, and the ground goes to the green screw. Now to add our latches onto the side, these are just window sash latches. We'll add one on one side to secure the cart when it's flipped in one direction and another one on the opposite end to secure it when the tool is flipped up. Now we can set our planer in place and wire that in. I've just cut out a small section of pipe so we can run this wire in from the opposite side and plug it into our power strip. And we want to add some storage to this cart, so I'm going to go back over to the table saw and start cutting out some drawers. We'll cut them down to size on the miter saw. If you haven't seen our video for the miter station build, I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. These drawers will be assembled using pocket screws and glue, and we get to use our brand new work surface to assemble these. A strap clamp works great for assembling boxes like this. I will link to that in the description below. Now to attach our drawer slides and install the drawers. Now I'm gonna run through this pretty quick, but I will be making a future video explaining how to build drawers and install them. So if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Our drawers seem to be working great, so now we're gonna move on to the faces of the drawers. I found that poker cards work great to use as shims and spacers to get these lined up perfectly. Now for a little cable management and my partner's gonna help me out finding the location for these hooks. All right guys, our three-in-one cart is done. We have it plugged into a power source. Now let's just test her out. Starting with the planer. Planer is good to go. Let's check out the jointer. Oh yeah. All right guys, now I'm gonna give you a close up look at some of the features of the cart now that it's finished. And a couple things that I added to make it a little bit more functional. So you'll notice here, I have a pin that goes through the sidewall of the cart into the flip top. That's just an additional safety mechanism in case one of these latches fails or if you forget to latch it or something like that, this pin will prevent the top from flipping on you. Also just added a couple hooks here facing in opposite directions so we can wind up the power cord. For the latches, these are just window sash latches. There's a few different style of these and of course I will link to all of this stuff in the description. Now a lot of guys you see building a cart like this will put a drawer down here in the bottom. That serves a couple purposes. It adds some support between these two sides of the cart. It also just gives you some storage under there. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. Because of the height, I needed this cart so that I can roll it under my workbench and the height of the planer when it's flipped. I just didn't have enough room to add the drawer down there. And so I went a different route, just added some partial sidewalls here that's gonna give us that extra support. Now you're still not losing that storage capability. Of course, over here on the jointer side of our cart, we did add two drawers in here. 
And over here on the jointer side, guys, you'll see I did route the power cord for the jointer back into the cart so we can plug in both tools at the same time. I am calling this the three-in-one cart, guys, because you are getting three functions. You're getting the function of the tool underneath, the tool on the side, and on the top, you can decide, do you want to put a tool up here or do you want to leave it flat like I did? As you saw in the video, this also makes a nice extra work surface in your shop if you need that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. And don't forget, I will have digital plans for this cart linked in the description below if you want to build one for yourself. And as always, guys, if you want to help support the channel, you can use our links in the description for all the tools and everything you saw us using in this video today. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.